the one thing that stood out about the Premiership this season is its unpredictability. Hmm. Have you been surprised how Quinns have started? Um, not, not really. I mean, I think they've had, they've had, in probably in their words, a little bit up and down. I mean, at times they've looked very, very dangerous and scoring a lot of points. And then they'll also feel a little bit um, probably annoyed with the amount of points they've conceded in some games. They've got some very good players. Obviously, a few of those are going to be away with international uh, duties this weekend. But they have multiple threats. And when a team have multiple threats, they're one of these teams that really scare you because you can actually play quite well against them and then all of a sudden they score a try. And then you can play well again for another 10 minutes and they score a try. And I don't like playing against teams like that. So what we've, what we've talked about this week is very much focusing on ourselves. If we try to cover off every single threat that Harlequins bring, we'll probably confuse ourselves. So we have talked a lot about the intensity we, we want to play at. Uh, how we want to play in this game, how we want to maintain possession, how we want to defend. And what we're expecting is that a lot of those systems and a lot of those um, kind of actions that we bring will, will deal with a lot of Harlequin's threats. Thanks, chaps. Rob, you talk about the seasons in blocks and you, you obviously had the, the perfect block in that, that opening nine, ten games. Um, have you reset the goals again now for this next block, which is three very tough Premiership games coming up? Yeah, a little, a little bit. We're, you know, we're, we've got to focus on you know, with it being two home games in, in particular out of the three, we've got to focus on it. We've got to focus on a decent collection of points over these three because we've got a good foundation. And we've got, as I've said, we've got to be aiming to accelerate on. You know, we've, we've got some, you know, as I say, some uh, some guys who were frontline players in the, the last season coming back fit. We've got a group of players who played very well to us up to this stage and won some very important games for us. Um, and we've got to make sure that we amalgamate them as a group to, to create three very good high-level performances. And as I said before, I think this is quite a challenging game. This first game, as you come out of change up of blocks, you know, like I say, when you go from, I mean, in just a number of weeks, we've gone from Champions Cup to the Premiership to the Anglo Welsh back to the Premiership. And I think making sure you don't lose your focus. And as I said, the big thing we've talked about this week has been our training intensity and the intensity we want to bring into a Premiership game. You know, there's no point talking about Anglo Welsh type level intensity as well as the boys played. You know, there was an intensity we needed to play to win those games and we achieved that. This will be different and what we've not got to do is just sit back and think you can just walk out onto the pitch at Sandy Park and get on with things and everything's OK. And whatever we're going to get out of the game, we've got to make happen and we've got to take for ourselves. And obviously you've got a number of players now fighting fit again. The, the long-term injuries are looking back in, in the mould again. It, it's a mm. good place to be at the moment. Yeah, for obvious reasons, you know, it's great to have guys like Dave Ewers and Luke Cowan Dickey back, uh, you know, having Oliver Devoto, Sam Hill, training game. Great to see some of the, the newer players like Matt Kravesic and uh, James Freeman playing so well. You know, Toby Salmon playing very well. I kept on getting more game time. Phil Dolman getting more game time, as I've said, you know, because I said he's been in and out at the start of the season with some injuries. You know, they're, they're very big positives for us, but we can be as positive as we like about the squad. If, but if we don't go out and perform, you know, if the individuals who get picked on, on Sunday don't go out and perform, the strength of the squad means nothing. You know, we've got to use the strength of our squad to create great intensity in training, and great quality in training, and then drive that quality and that intensity through on, a sun, on, on Sunday's game. And finally, uh, just the, the internationals, uh, three boys in the England squad again, and Thomas Francis in the Welsh squad, must be hugely delighted with that. Yeah, obviously it's fantastic to have four guys away in front line frontline international teams that, that's obviously massively important for us and to think we've actually got two regular EPS squad members in you know in Luke Cowan Dickey and uh, Jack Noel here as all also at the moment so you know I'd like I'd like to say we would have five you know um, it's fantastic for us and that, that's that's what it should be about if we're going to be a progressive club both in the Premiership and in Europe and and the kind of squad we want to build here you know we've, we've got to expect that we've got to be helping these guys drive their ambitions to be international players I think it's fantastic for them as individuals and it's great for us as a club and in particular Sam the rise he's made in the last 12 months um, is a, a huge boost not just for the club but the academy in particular places like that oh yeah I mean yeah it's massively satisfying to be to me sit there on the sofa and and watch guys like Sam, you know, running out and playing international rugby. It's, it's kind of what it's all about, isn't it? It's, it's you know, seeing young guys. You know, I remember you know, looking at videos of Sam playing at Ivory Bridge, you know, Ivory Bridge School, and then you see him come through, and he's worked very hard in the academy. You know, great credit to him. You know, I, I always think, first and foremost, you've got to credit the players because I, I, I do think we create a great structure here for them, and and we have a confidence in them. But we have a confidence in our young players because of the qualities they show. And you know they they earn everything that comes along. They earn their opportunities. You know we're prepared to give them to them, but you know they earn their opportunities, and they have to play well to maintain their the way they play and their positions in the squad. And that's what Sam's done. He's, he's had a great time down at Pop Cornish Pirates. He's got his head down. He's worked extremely hard. He's done the things that have been asked of him. When he had his, he, he earned an opportunity to play for us by the way he was performing. 
at Pirates and then in our Sevens team and then in our A-League team and then in our Anglo-Welsh team and that merited him starting in, it, it, was, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it was quite late last season when he, he started that game uh, against Wasps here, the draw where Johnny Hill gets sent off and since then he's merited his involvement in the 23 all along and you know and that meriting that involvement has meant he's played well and by playing well in a team that eventually won a Premiership final means you know you're out there and people are just looking at you and you get the opportunity to play for England. Mm -hmm.